Yes, son. What's going on everybody? Got a very exciting review for you today. And I am going to be testing and reviewing the brand new Firestone Indy 500 Ultra Performance Summer Tires. I bought these tires because of a couple different reasons. Number one, the reviews were off the charts. Uh, looking on Tire Rack, they were, you know, five stars, four and a half stars all over the place uh, and and although they're new uh, there was quite a few reviews on them and they scored higher than than tires that were you know twice as much so that's that leads me to my second point uh their price i mean the fronts were i think 160 bucks 162 something like that and the backs were 170 each i mean that's i mean that's uh that's cheap, people. That's super cheap. Uh, one of the drawbacks, I mean, this is probably not really a drawback unless you're a maniac and you're trying to drive 170 plus on the street, but they are W rated. So they're rated at 168 miles an hour. Yeah, they'll, they'll go faster, um, but I'm not sure I wanna risk my life trying to go over 170 with these tires just because of the rating i don't know you know how accurate those ratings are or how they do it i know the mickey thompson's that i had on here before y rated so they were rated up to 198 miles an hour and um neither of those speeds i'm gonna test on the street initial impressions when i first got in the car right after i threw them on i turned the steering wheel the car was just stationary and i was like wow this the wheel moves a lot easier it's, i know that sounds stupid but uh i figured it was just because they were new and they still had all the um a layer of whatever the hell's on it you know from the 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 manufacturing process but um i've been driving with them now for uh, a few miles and still the the much more responsive even stopped at a light the wheel actually turns a little bit easier uh same pressure i'm running about 35 pounds in, in all of these um psi and um that seems to work good and these tires so far are very smooth they're they soak up bumps really nice um, I've gone over railroad tracks um, and a few other things and they soak up the potholes and little imperfections in the road really well while still be able still you, you can still feel what the what the car is doing as much as you can with this stupid fucking EPOS electric steering system the Mustang has. Um, I really want the Boss 302R um, steering rack. Mine did go out once, not while I was moving. I was trying to back out of the garage and it and it locked up. I do have a lot of suspension mods and just mods in general, so they say that that can cause it to to fail, but holy shit. That was cold. These motherfuckers grip. Oh man. Oh, baby, $160 tires, getting her done. Good job, Firestone. Better than the ones you made that exploded and killed people. Knock on wood. Now, when I test the traction, I'm doing that with the traction control completely turned off. So, don't think I have the traction control on. It's completely turned off, um, which is the way you're supposed to drive anyway lake is beautiful and choppy it's windy out today good day to test the lateral grip of the new firestone 500 indy 500 oval whatever the fuck they're called this is completely off topic here but 
there's a kid, and the van's up ahead of me now, who was giving me the thumbs up and filming the car. I mean, the kid's probably, I don't know, 14 or something like that. So I read the writing on the van, and it's a, uh, it's a corner. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I wonder if they have a dead body in that van. Just, I don't know, that's just kind of strange. He was a very happy child, happy that there was a muscle car next to the van, and there were probably dead bodies in the back of the van. That um, strikes me as kind of funny, I don't know why. So I'm driving over a really bumpy road right now, and these tires are soaking it up beautifully. Uh, I drove over some railroad tracks. Uh, I'd say they, they actually feel like they soak up the bumps even better than the Mickey Thompsons, but are a hell of a lot more responsive. They definitely, uh, they, it requires less steering input to turn, and lateral grip is, is good. Um, I haven't stomped at 100% from a dig, but I did get on it, uh, and uh, they grip awesome. These are the best gripping tires so far that I've ever had, and that was on a cold. Uh, the tires weren't even heated, and they were gripping pretty, pretty good. driving around a little bit. I was shifting around six to six grand though. I wasn't going going all the way, but man, these motherfuckers are nice. Very nice. I mean this thing is these tires are like silk. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's because I was running mismatched tires. I blew out one of my tires, the Mickey Thompson's in the back because I got a nail in it. So I had those tire rack, old Firestone Indy Ovals and I threw them on, still had the Mickey Thompson's on the front. And uh, so, you know, that's pretty stupid. You don't want to do that, but in a pinch, great in a straight line, it was fine, but didn't want to turn too fast. everybody for watching and uh, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe or as always shoot me the middle finger but I'd rather you hit like and subscribe or hit dislike or write some stupid comments whatever works for you cool all right everybody have a great day I'll see you next time <laughs>